Hey guys, I'm Jane Award from Maximo TV. Get excited! We're at the Sex Drive premiere and we're bringing you all the scoop right from the red carpet. What's happening in the world of Casey these days? The world of Casey, well I just finished a new movie called Lure. It's a thriller. It's very scary and um, it's in post-production right now and hopefully it will be in theaters next year. The most embarrassing thing in Laguna Beach, I was shooting the scene one night and I didn't have any my credit cards or anything. I had just switched my purse and I was so humiliated and I, I didn't have anything to pay for my dinner with. So I was like, oh no, but my girlfriend picked it up. But that was pretty embarrassing for me. As far as um, Sex Drive, the movie, do you have any tips for keep, keeping the flame alive in a relationship? I think just to, I just be a good girlfriend and be there for your boyfriend or husband or whatever. I just think that just keeping it fun and interesting and you can never fail that way. <laughs> I went to a Ramones concert once a long time ago and I met a girl there, we started making out. And uh, I think I dated her a couple of times and we had uh, sex in a cab, no, uh, taxi cab, not in a taxi cab, but my friend's car driving through New York City in the back seat. That was kind of cool. Did you have to pay your friend to not look or something? No, he was with her friend and they were not having a good time. They were pissed that we were doing that because every red light the car would like, people would gather around the car. And this girl was nuts. I said a line and, and Angela started laughing and I'm like, what's wrong with you? Why are you laughing? She said, because you start, sounded just like Jimmy Stewart. And then they were making fun of me because English is not my first language. Well, the boys are on a road trip, and the girl, they're on a road trip, and their car breaks down in Amish country, and I play an Amish girl, Mary, and then I become Clark Duke's love interest. And Mary, I'm on my little rumspringa, which is my break from being Amish, and so I get to experiment and have a little fun and get a little naughty and have no consequences for it. So it was a lot of fun to play. <laughs> in order to get into character, did you have to like go visit Amish country or anything, or what did you do? to figure out how to play an Amish girl. You know, I wish I had been able to go visit some Amish country, but there's not too many of them out in LA. And in Florida, I guess there is a few, but they were a little far from where we were filming. But what I did do, I've, I've been reading stories of Amish people since I was a little kid, just because I'm fascinated by, by people who choose to live in such a simple way. And it's half beautiful, half frightening to me. I'm like, really? Okay then, God bless you. Um, but no, that, I, and I also watched a documentary called The Devil's Playground, which was very insightful because it was about the Rumspringa, which what is, was exactly what my character was going through. So it was, um, was kind of sad, kind of funny, and uh, very just literally interesting. Like it's hard to find a better adjective for it. It's just, I think anyone could just be like, while well, they watch it, just it's hard to believe. Did you find any stories of crazy things that Amish teens were doing on their little spring break? like crack, <laughs> but I mean it's no crazier than I guess a lot of teenagers are doing. I guess because I, I'd expect, I don't know, to be honest actually it wasn't too crazy because when you're raised in such a suppressed environment it only makes sense to kind of go the extreme the other way when you're able to. So it, uh, it, it did make sense actually. It was still sad and some of it was still like, I was surprised by how much they showed in the documentary, um, but it was good though. I play Sandy and she is promoting abstinence. She's a dancer and um, she kind of meets Josh, well Ian in the movie, at the carnival. She kind of flirts her way into inviting him to come watch her perform her dance routine and little does he know we're promoting abstinence <laughs> and um, while we're, after we perform we bring him up on stage, pledge abstinence and you just gotta watch it to see what happens but it's a pretty funny story. <laughs> I did have a scene that was pretty nerve-wracking and embarrassing for being my first movie. Um, I did have to get topless, so that was a little bit interesting. I was like, okay, just keep the camera rolling, keep the camera rolling, but it was really, it was fun, it was exciting. Sex drive to me would just have to be like keeping up and keeping the hot fire attraction going, I guess you could say. <laughs> Three words to describe your scenes, what would they be? Excitingly sexy. <laughs> Because you're in a cheerleading uniform? Yes. <laughs> Not even. I'm barely wearing a skirt, so yes. <laughs> Did you guys come up with the idea for Sex Drive together? What inspired it? No, it was, it's actually a book by Andy Barron's called All the Way that was brought to us. And so everything in the movie has actually happened to either of us. So. <laughs> Did you guys try to try on the donut at all? 
I did, yeah. It's actually really scary because I have a big hat size, let's just say, <laughs> and you have to have a little teeny button head to get your head in there. That's how Josh was able to put it on. And when you when you put it on, it's very claustrophobic and spooky and scary. And when Josh would put it on, he would be like an astronaut. Like he had this whole method down where he'd be like, okay, arm up and then turn it a little to the left, now lower, bring it in. He became this ultimate pro of wearing the donut costume. And it weighs like so. 200 pounds too. Yeah, so. it's crazy. Yeah, it's rough. Well, I was nude for a lot of the films, so you could really classify a lot of that as embarrassing, you know? <laughs> T-minus, how many seconds did it take for you to get over that? Uh, it took about three beers and two hours. I play Lance in the film, who's Ian's best friend, who's kind of a, a life coach for him as far as dealing with women and, uh, and, and having sex, to be really frank about it. Any tips you can give that you learned from your character? Um, just be confident, you know? Believe in yourself. Playing an Amish guy in Sex Drive, what did you learn about controlling your sex drive? Uh, nothing. We only shot for like 12 hours a day, so after that, do whatever. How did you get into character? Did you visit Pennsylvania or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. I spent plenty of time uh, learning how to make fudge at the, uh, the Dutch Wonderland. Uh, I lived with the Mennonites. I took many wives. You know, it's been, it was a wonderful experience. Yeah, I learned a lot about myself and their culture. What was one embarrassing moment in the film? Just one. Oh. Yeah. one. How about the fact I show my butt? Okay, yeah. Is that right, enough? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tell me the most embarrassing moment when you've been having sex. Um, oh, I'll tell you. We were, we were out of town for something. Um, our, it's not very embarrassing. Our, our first child was only two and a half Charlie. Do you remember this? Uh, so we were in a hotel room on a, a little vacation. And my, it was the morning. And we put on a... a television program for our son to hopefully watch we had the covers over us and, and, and Charlie we both fell asleep do you remember this no it was in the morning we thought we were in a hotel room and we thought Charlie was engaged watching television and we were uh, engaged Making in love. love and then not Charlie, sex and we, we noticed that Charlie wasn't watching television he crawled up on the bed with us covers were over us and then he thought it was like some sort of ride at the grocery horse, store for twenty five cents. So, and so he's, on. he's he was on my back, That's and, and like wondering like what's going on? Why did the ride Can we stop? Get in trouble for that? No, I don't think so. That's innocent enough. Oh, that's innocent. So not embarrassing, but um, this was. Let's go. Watch we were both the movie. we were both a little bit taken aback. We stopped. I got it. Well, we've got to go. <laughs> Thank see you. Okay. Have fun. Hi, Senor Donut. Do you have some battle wounds from skateboarding around town? Hey, you want to go on a date? I've seen your face all over billboards around town. Do you want to take me out? You want? He's he's not responding. He's not responding. Okay, I think this guy is such a big star now that he won't even respond to my questions. Senor Donut is the man. He's the man. Thanks for watching all the highlights from the red carpet of the Sex Drive premiere. I've got my movie ticket right here, my VIP after party pass, so I'm hitting it. Bye. We're on the red carpet and they're serving us donuts. For the first time. This is crazy. Mm. You're not supposed to get that on film. <laughs>